Alright, what's going on everyone? It's John here, and today I'm finally bringing you guys another World War II commentary, and oh my goodness guys, it feels like it's been a while since I've done the commentary, because all I've been doing lately is just live streaming. Now don't worry guys, I'm not putting an end to the commentaries or funny moments videos, and I'm just gonna start live streaming from now on. No, I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm still gonna be making commentaries, funny moments videos, maybe other videos as well, but right now it's just that I'm getting back into live streaming again, so you will see me like live streaming a lot more, and still uploading commentaries, and at times I'll be uploading funny moments videos, but I just wanna let you guys know that, just in case you guys were thinking that I'm only gonna be live streaming from now on but anyways as you guys can see from the title today i'm going to be playing with the new basic training that recently came out for world war ii which is called wonderlust now you guys might be wondering why am i making a video specifically on the basic training and the reason for that is because this basic training is not just like one of those ordinary basic trainings that like lets you reload faster or run faster or anything like that no this basic training does something different and unique and it's a lot of fun as well so this right here is wonderlust and what this basically does is every single time you spawn into a game if you have this equipped that you will spawn with a random gun that can have up to six attachments and this random gun could be from any of the weapon categories such as the lmgs sniper rifles ars smgs or even a melee weapon as well and they will also come equipped with random attachments which can be up to six attachments so like you normally you, you're not able to put six attachments on a weapon but with wonderlust if you're lucky enough you could actually get six attachments on a gun now obviously this doesn't work for melee weapons or launchers i mean i'm pretty sure it doesn't so this is what your class looks like with wonderlust and as you guys can see you're not able to choose uh uh, your primary weapon or your secondary weapon because it's going to be a random weapon on spawn and just to demonstrate to you guys i'm going to show you what i mean by that so as you guys can see i just spawned with an stg and obviously i didn't put an stg before and now when i press triangle it's going to switch to a different one so wait hold up all right there you go now i got an m1903 with an acog scope or four times scope whatever this is so i can basically keep on pressing triangle and it'll just give me random weapons and if you're lucky enough you could actually get a weapon that you don't have for example let's say you guys don't have the ptrs it could actually give it to you or let's so you don't have the abs which is like the newest ar that came out which is basically the svt fully automatic you could actually get it if you're lucky enough and keep swapping now the weird thing about the attachments is that it doesn't show you what attachments it has it just tells you like for example i just got the abs and i don't have the abs right now so this is actually my first time uh getting the abs from the wonderlust uh basic training but as you guys can see it says abs 36 custom it doesn't even tell you what attachments it has this has a four times scope but it doesn't tell me down there where it says custom so yeah it's kind of weird how you don't know what attachments are on the gun that you get because like you don't even know if it has one attachment two attachments three four five maybe even six attachments like you have no idea if it does have it or not now real quickly guys i want to apologize for not being able to upload on the new game mode that came out last week which is called wonderlust and the way it works is just the way it sounds like basically all you get to use is just wonderlust and it was pretty fun i did try it out but the only reason i didn't record a video on it last week right when it came out is because i was actually on vacation for those of you guys that don't know i was at vegas so i did not have a chance to edit record or live stream or anything like that but once i got back from vacation i did get a chance to play it and it was a lot of fun but the only reason i didn't record a video on it is because i did not expect them to take it off this early like at the moment i'm recording this it's monday and they took this off today but i'm not really tripping because all i have to do is just equip wonderlust it's a big basic training and i could just go on to tdm and play with it and this is also going to be i guess challenging for me because for those of you guys that don't know i'm actually a sniper and that's pretty much all i do on world war 2 and for whenever i use a gun i don't really do that bad but i'm just not as good with a gun as i am with a sniper and also before i start up a match i want to let you guys know that i will be talking about something that has been recently leaked for black ops 4 and it has to do with this battle royale game mode which is blackout so about black ops 4 and its battle royale game mode which is blackout and that's just what i'm going to be calling it throughout this whole video because i don't know to keep repeating myself and saying battle royale battle royale but we've all been asking ourselves the same question ever since uh blackout was announced and that is how many players are there going to be in one game because when they announced it over there at the community reveal event they never announced how many players are going to be available in one match but the thing about this blackout game is that they have not mentioned anything about it at all ever since the community reveal event it's like such a classified project that treyarch does not want to give out any information on because i don't know i guess this is just something big for them and I can see why because Call of Duty has never had a battle royale game mode until now and this is actually pretty interesting to see how it's going to go but as of recently I think the blackout player count has been leaked there is an image that has been going around lately and this is supposedly telling us how many players there are going to be in the blackout game mode but this is not obviously this is not 100% confirmed this is still I guess you can say a rumor but at the same time it looks like something legit so I'm going to go ahead and put the image up on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about so as you guys can see on the left it says 12 players but then on the right it says two to 60 network players so this right here is basically what everyone thinks is going to be the player count for blackout and 
and honestly, I'm not really sure yet. Because again, this is just a rumor, it's not confirmed yet. Treyarch and Activision, they have not said anything about how many players there's going to be in the Blackout game mode. Now, one thing I find weird about this image is where it says 12 players. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's like the multiplayer right there, where it's basically 6v6 and it's like TDM, Domination, or anything like that. But the reason I find it weird is because I thought it would say 10 players, not 12, because they're actually changing it from 6v6 to 5v5 for the multiplayer, which honestly, I wish it could still be 6v6 because I don't know how 5v5 is going to feel for the multiplayer. Now, my thoughts on it, if it really was 60 players for the Battle Royale game mode, honestly, guys, uh, this is really not a great idea. I mean, we're talking about a big-ass map. It's going to be 1,500 times larger than Nuketown. No, no, Nuketown is a pretty small map, but if you guys really think about it, 1,500 Nuketown maps, that is pretty big. So, obviously, the map is going to be super big, not to mention that there's going to be air vehicles, land vehicles, and sea vehicles as well. So, hey, guys, that is a lot already. Now, 60 players is not a low player amount. I mean, that's actually a lot, but if you really think about it for a Battle Royale map that big, it kind of is a low amount. I mean, Fortnite has a pretty big map, and it has 100 players. PUBG has an even bigger map, and it has 100 players as well. And Blackout is obviously going to be a big map, and 60 players, I just don't know how that feels. I feel like 100 would have been a great amount, because, again, land vehicles, sea vehicles, air vehicles, all that with 100 people would be amazing, but... Only 60 people with all those features around the map? I just don't think that's a great idea. I mean, I just have a feeling that the gameplay is going to be kind of slow because Call of Duty is known to have that like fast gameplay and all that kind of stuff. But with only 60 players on a big map like that, I just feel like the gameplay is going to be pretty slow. But anyways, guys, about Blackout, I just hope the player count is at least 100, maybe 90, somewhere around there. If the player count is 60, like it says in the image, I mean, I guess I would understand because I know the engine that Call of Duty runs is not strong enough to support over a hundred players for sure. It would just cause the gameplay to be really laggy, glitchy, and it would just not work out at all. I'm good. Oh. What? All right, hold on, guys. I'm doing kind of bad. I'm about to concentrate real quick. Damn, I hard scoped this guy hella hard. But oh, crap. Sit down. Oh, sit down. Oh, oh, ooh, sit down. And you sit on as well. Oh crap, oh crap. Oh. And victory is ours. And I got final clip. Let's get it. Alright, there you go. Ooh. And then I swap and I got lucky enough to get the. Oh wait, no, never mind. This was the SVT. At first, when I got this, I thought it was the. What was it? The Delio? I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. Is it Delio or Delizo? Damn, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm honestly gonna start using Wonderless whenever I just like feel like using it because this basic training is a lot of fun. Anyways, guys, with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. What are your guys' thoughts on the Blackout game mode having only 60 players? Or, well, if that rumor is even true, which I hope it's not because, again, Again, I hope it has like at least 100 players, maybe 90 at least. I'm not sure. I'm still pretty excited about Blackout, but I just hope it has at least 100 players. That's all I ask for, just 100. And for those of you guys that want to cycle around a bunch of weapons, maybe find a weapon that you want to get used to or use a DLC weapon or a weapon that you just don't have, I recommend you guys use Wonderlust. It's a pretty fun basic training and you could just have a lot of fun with it. And before I end this off, guys, I just want to show you guys something. Just take a look. Hold up and here it is. So just expect a video this Saturday that has to do something with the sniper and let me just eh, let me just go ahead and show you guys why not. So again this Saturday you guys already know what's coming. Anyways again hope you guys enjoy make sure to drop a like and it's been John and I'm out. Peace.